Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video about a couple of updates I made this weekend. Firstly, there was an issue with getting responses in Android and iOS. When you built your applications, many people reported that they were getting actually JSON parsing errors. Later I realized this issue was based on using IL2CPP scripting backend in Unity and I actually had the same issue myself when building for Android. Unfortunately, I didn't directly have a solution for this but later I realized after I started the development of this package about a month ago a new version of the Newtonsoft JSON library actually arrived and I updated to dependency now you can actually build it for Android and iOS without having an issue the second thing is that if you update the package you will now get a stream response sample normally when you make a request it takes a while to get the whole response especially if the prompt or the response text is large Streaming responses help you start getting the results before the whole text is completed and you can start displaying it to your users word by word as it is arriving. It saves you time and it gives you that cool effect of uh, text animation. In the example you are watching, I am asking for a 100 words long La Fontaine style story and you can see how quickly it starts receiving the response. To understand what is going on under the hood, let's go into the script where we make these requests and take a look at uh, how it is different than the chat and text completion endpoints that we used before, which were waiting for the whole result to arrive and which was actually taking more time. So first of all, um, let me move this here and also I'll make the code appear a bit larger and close these things here. Okay, um, all right, so here is where we are making the request and now the method is called create chat completion async, which I actually plan to rename. Uh, let's go to this method and see what is going on in the script itself. Now we have this for chat completion and also we have a text completion version, which is called create completion async. So in here previously we just had the request uh, object that we were sending with the payload. Right now there is also on response and on complete actions which let us know these callbacks let us know um, what is the progress and also we can send the cancellation token source which helps us uh, stop the process if we want to you know like shut it down in the middle that we do not want it to complete the whole thing and these two actions again are going to help us receive the results um, the response is going to be a list of all completion responses word by word so we are sending these as the uh, next parameters in there and you can just apply the you can just send the methods there to receive the responses for example, I in this example, in the sample, I left on completion null because I didn't really have anything to do for that. But let's move the enabling the button functionality in here. I'm going to create a private void uh, completion complete uh, or completion done method. And I'm going to paste the button enabled down in it. So let's bring this into the where the null parameter was. And so it should now once the result is done button should be enabled so i'm running it okay while it's while it's going on i cannot click on the button anymore it's disabled and i can click right after it is actually enabled again so uh this was all for this short update you can now build it without any problem for ios and android and you can also use streaming text and chat completion results Thank you so much for watching and see you this week with new videos.